Hi there! Welcome to this video. Welcome to a new week in the Sugar Do Studio. Hi there! Welcome to a new week in the Sugar Do Studio. My name is Irene, and in this week vlog, I'm going to take you with me on my week here in my quilting studio. I just cleared out my design wall because I want to put a quilt on there that I have been working on and I would love to see how the vlogs all go together. So that's what I'm starting my Monday morning with. And then we have three days this week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday working days for me. And then Thursday, Friday are days off for the kids. So uh, uh, we also took our Thursday, Friday off. So we'll have a nice long weekend. So three week, three days for me to do some work. And the work this week, let's see. I could have prepared this before the video, but um, the work for this week would be mainly marketing for my book. Because when you are watching this, oh, this is exciting. When you are watching this, this is going to be the pre-sale week for my book. So when you're watching this, all the marketing work that I'm doing now is done. And hopefully you know about the pre-sale of my book. So on the 6th of June, on my birthday, the pre-sale for my book starts. Uh, and I think that will be five days or six days of pre-sale with awesome offers that I have to work out at this time. I'm almost, I'm almost, um, I've almost decided on what the offer is going to be. But when you're watching this, you can just hop over to my website and check out the pre-sale for my book. Or maybe you've already ordered, pre-ordered my book. That would be so awesome. Um, oh, that's really exciting to be thinking when this would be on YouTube. That's in the future. So then, well, then it already started. But this week I have to do some work, um, make the, the sales page. So that is the page where you can order your free order for the book and have to set some, uh, write some emails and plan those in. So that is uh, my main focus of the week. And then, of course, I always need projects to sidetrack me from my focus points. Um, so I've been talking about adding a binding to two quilts for, I think, three, two or three week vlogs. Every time I mention, yes, this week I'm going to add a binding. But this week I'm really going to add it because I'm going to cut it this morning. <laughs> so yeah, that I, I really would love to finish those quilts. So this week it's going to happen. Let's see on Monday, Wednesday afternoon <laughs> if I really made that made that um, uh, happen. So yeah, book, marketing, binding the quilts, um, setting up some social media posts because I'm back on Instagram. I have read, wrote a blog post about that, how my time away from social media was and what I learned from it. Um, I got a lot of responses already on that blog post of people uh, yeah, resonating with my thoughts there on what I discovered because it did not go as I thought it would go. So if you want to read more about that, I'll put a link somewhere with the eye icon in the corner. Is it this one or this one? I'll put it there so you can go and uh, read that after the vlog, of course. So yeah, tea, quilt blocks. Let's start this week. This is the quilt that I was talking about that I'm working on. So that's a farm quilt by Elizabeth Hartman. And it's really fun to just make something by a pattern by somebody else that I don't have to write out myself or think about selling. So it's just the project for me. But it's going to be a huge one. I didn't really realize how big of a quilt it would go, was going to be. So it's uh, 57, no, 75 by 77 inches. So let's see if that fits on my wall. Okay. 
My wall is exactly 70 70 inches wide and a little bit over 70 70 high, so it's going to fit. There we go. It fits. So it fits on my design, design wall and that's awesome because then I can really put it together every time I work on it. Especially when working with adding stashing, then this is so useful to have in the studio. So I'm really happy that it all fits on here. It's going to be big. I think this will be the biggest quilt that I've made so far. It's really fun. And the, um, the idea of the pattern was to just use kind of realistic fabric colors. Um, focus. Hello. Yes, there we are again. So these have kind of realistic fabrics colors for the farm animals. And a lot of Elizabeth Hartman's patterns um, show uh, kind of a um, variegation of a rainbow-ish kind of colorway, uh, but this one didn't and I really like that about her patterns and so I thought let's just make it um, kind of color, is it color var variegating? That the colors blend from one to another. So what I did was made a make a black and white copy of the whole pattern and then I picked colors for each row-ish so um, I say row-ish because it's not really in rows so these top animals will be blue-ish, teal, green, orange, red, purple-ish um, so yeah I, that was an experiment but I think it's going to look great haven't made any animals in the bottom row yet. Oh yes, I did. I have one, one over there, purple. So yeah, I think it's going to look awesome. Now I get to pick my next animal, but I'm going to save that for during the evenings or weekends because it is a hobby project and it is my working day. So let's start with my book marketing and then after that I can cut up some binding. Time for leftover from Mother's Day, yesterday, uh, tea, and uh, writing out some uh, content ideas. So I thought it would be fun to make some YouTube shorts, yes, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels, uh, with tips about foundation paper piecing, because my book is all about foundation paper piecing. It's filled with foundation paper piecing patterns, so... Um, I wanted to make some shorts with tips about that. Uh, so I'm going to make a blog from my book and um, uh, share some tips on foundation paper piecing along the way. And of course, when you're watching this, you could already have seen the shorts and I'm going to uh, save them in a folder or maybe it's automatically saved in one uh, place on my YouTube channel. So I'll link that in the screen uh, so you can watch them if you want some tips on FPP. There it is, a whole plan to make a few short videos uh, with making just one or two blocks. I just got an email from my graphic designer, Hein, that they finished the first version of the book. So exciting. I'm going to open it on my laptop and see how it looks. There we go. Let's find this email and open the book. Excited. It's really fun that I can share this with you. Um, let's see, where is it? And even though this week uh, is the pre-order, not everything from the book is already known. So the cover will be revealed for the pre-orders. 
but on the 1st of July, I'm going to do the full um, show and tell of the book. So then I will share all the projects and uh, uh, yeah, share everything that's in there. Um, so I'm not going to give you a full run through of the book about what I'm going to see now. But it is exciting. And of course for the pre-sale you do have quite some sneak peeks and uh, images to give you an idea of the style of the book so that you would know what you would be pre-ordering of course. Um, but on the 1st of July I'm going to give a full run through the whole book. There we go. Oh it's so cool. I love that all the ideas that I had in my head this I'm just looking at the introduction so the first pages in the book but the ideas that I had I send in some sketches of when I was uh, designing some blocks and I just send it in with oh maybe this would be nice to include and it's included in such a cool way uh, I really love that Shall I just show you? <laughs> I'll, I'll just show you a sneak peek. Um, let me see, how do we do this? So for example, I send in some sketches and then they incorporated it in such a cool way on the pages. I really like that. So it's really I'm becoming this whole um, it really fits well together so that yeah it's not only the quilt design but all the all the blocks and details are in there table of contents chapter with all the materials therefore I need to send in a new picture I, I made a flat lay image of all the materials you need for foundation paper piecing and we wanted to um, swap that out for another one um, so I have to make that I'm not going to read everything I'm just going to run through it and see if I like everything the fabrics used in this book yeah that of course is the bundle that is over there it, um, uh, so all those fabrics I need to send in some swatches digital swatches so that they can be included in the book Oh, this also looks awesome. Techniques. Let's get started. So I'm sharing the foundation paper piecing technique. So if you're new to foundation paper piecing. Okay, okay, I'm just going to share. I'm so excited about this. If you're new to foundation paper piecing, I am sharing, uh, yeah, so the complete technique. So how you do it in a step-by-step -step way so that you can read it and uh, follow the steps at your own pace. Then we have basic quilting instructions, so cutting fabric sandwich, making freezer paper quilting, binding. That is in there, it looks awesome. Oh, and then the main chapter, the Happy Notes Sampler. Yeah, that is so cool. And then there's the chapters with all the blocks explained uh, so a little note on how to make each block and why the blocks in the book because it's all happy notes so uh, for example shall I just read one? Oh, you the phone you saw the sketch of the phone so with the phone it says connecting with your best friend with your family with your children in these moments uh, you want to share something happy or need support um, well, in those moments you want to share something happy or need support when things are rough a phone makes the distance between us so much smaller such a beautiful thing when we real um, uh, when we can really share and listen mm, I think I will go through the the texts and uh, read them out loud and see if uh, if they are final or I want some small changes uh, but yeah, so 
all the blocks have a small note on why they make me happy and why they are in the quilt. So there's a phone in the quilt. It is. Oh, yes. And little tips and extra. Oh, it all looks really happy. Happy. Awesome. 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 This also looks really good. Then cutting strips to assemble the quilt. Yes, the instructions to make the whole quilt. It's kind of a technical um, thing. So here is the whole quilt layout. And then in these chapters, you um, I explain how you can assemble the quilt with all the strips and where the session goes and uh, things like that. That's really cool. Oh, it's just, it's, it's beautiful. I love it. Oh, and also some elements from the quilts he used in the titles and I, I have to say they use because uh, uh, they work with two people on um, the graphic design of the book. So now, um, yeah, next steps. So next step is giving feedback on this. So giving feedback on uh, whatever I uh, noticed that is changed. Then I can contact the printer in the US. And because then I have now all the details for the exact uh, amount of pages, etc. And I have to contact wholesale and quilt shops in the US. <sighs> exciting, exciting stuff. Um, yes, but first I need to finish this YouTube Shorts thing. Yes. Um, so probably I will save this for tomorrow. Time to film um, the YouTube Shorts. So I have my pattern here. I'm going to make it plenty. Plenty friend block. Um, yeah, so let's get some fabrics and start cutting and filming. this day a lot of exciting stuff is happening so I was filming the um, uh, YouTube shorts I was was filming that but now I got an email from Bernina which is really exciting um, well let me calculate first this vlog is going to go up the 9th of June Three weeks. Mm, not sure if I shared my first blog post then, but I, I can tell you that I am going to sign a new collaboration agreement with Bernina. That's really cool. It's really, really cool. It is not for quilting, but for something else that I'm doing more like a hobby on the side. And um, I was looking for a new machine for that, so I contacted Bernina what we could do. <sighs> yes, so that is exciting. So I think around you're watching the vlog, just take a look at the Bernina blog. Maybe just check the description below this video. If there's a link to Bernina, then you know what I'm talking about. And if not, then just check in with the vlog in two weeks, then I for sure will share uh, what's coming. Yes. Exciting, so let's check all the details of this agreement. Let's print it. Uh, yeah, let's print it and then um, we sign it and then hopefully next week or the week after that I will have something very exciting in the mail.
okay so contract is signed now I have to set up for filming the first part I want to show the use of an add an eighth ruler let me just use you as practice material so um practice material I mean explaining this before I film the reel so what I want to um, bring across in the reel is that um, I hope this will focus yes an add a quarter ruler has a little lip over here and that is a quarter inch and then add an eighth ruler I have to hide from the camera otherwise it will focus on my face and add an eighth ruler has also a little lip uh, here you can see it and this is smaller than this little lip so this is an eighth of an inch and this is a quarter of an inch and that is perfect for when you are making tiny parts so in this pattern for example these parts are super tiny so then it's nice to use seam allowance that is even smaller than a quarter of an inch so yeah that is the point that I would love to bring across um, to show why you would use and when you would use an add an eighth ruler compared to add a quarter ruler so maybe the main thing is the cutting so then I could do a b-roll shot of me sewing and then have the camera set up over here with an overhead view and show the cutting <laughs> everything is filmed so this first section of my plenty friend block is done so this means this is done and this is done and I think I don't have everything yes I don't have everything to make this first reel so I don't really have the headspace to finish the whole YouTube short because that's on my app on my phone and um, I think cutting some fabrics is better for the last half hour of the day um, yeah so binding time it is let me grab my quilt and the fabric I'm going to use here's the quilt and here's the fabric so I am going to go for a yellow stripy binding on this happy quilt Let's figure out how much I need. Um, measuring might be a good thing. <laughs> uh, yes. Let's just measure and calculate. So this is almost 60 inches. That is the long side. That is 120 inches, two sides, and this side is almost 50 inches, so that is 100 inches added to that, so that's 220 inches large and well, 20 inches extra. Then we, have, then we have 240 inches divided by roughly 40 inches of fabric width, 24 divided by 4 is um six so i will need six strips of my binding fabric this is going to make a very pretty and happy binding so I'm going to join these strips and then um, it's okay for the day. Um, tomorrow will be a new day. Tuesday afternoon 
whole day went by. Um, quite a lot happened. Sana was here this morning. And we worked on a plan. A plan for something that is going to uh, be happening at the end of the year. Um, it will launch after my book. So probably end of July it will launch. It's awesome. If I tell you it has about 24 days and it's going to be revealing itself in December. I think that might spark some ideas that it could be. So we planned that out and I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be such an awesome project. Um, project gift quilt along in one. It's going to be super fun. So we did that this morning and after that I sent a lot of emails for marketing for my book contacting wholesale, contacting other designers, contacting my test team, asking them to test read my book. Um, yeah, lots of stuff. Um, so yeah, my brain capacity power is all used up. I thought let's, um, how do you call that? Press. Let's, let's press this binding. That's something I can do at the end of this day. There we go, the binding is on and this is perfect. So there's a little bit extra room, so I have enough binding to uh, put this together. And now I really like to always check <laughs> the final look, especially with such a stripey binding. Because now we can see what it's going to look like and I am loving it. This is perfect. Look at that, a small, small binding with lovely stripes. Oh, this is just a happy, perfect, happy finish to this quilt. So the next step would be to close this. I always have a little bit of a struggle with that, not to <laughs> put it on twisted. Uh, but yeah, close this. So this final part and then over the weekend I will hand stitch this to the back. So I did some computer work. I scheduled in an update about my book that's going on my blog <coughs> this afternoon with an Instagram post. Um, and I want to send out a safe date. Save the date for my pre-sale for the book which is live right now which i already told you um but yeah i have to send it out now and the pre-sale for the first of july because the first of july the book will start shipping and that is worth celebrating so um i'm going to host a party in here in the studio with some friends and family and also online for all of you so I will do a book launch party live on YouTube and also probably, hello son, on uh, Instagram if I can manage to do that both at the same time. But surely on YouTube on the 1st of July and then I will do a big show and tell of all the projects that are in the book. And uh, yeah, we'll just make that a fun, fun thing. So here just have some restocking or not really restocking stocking of um, bags and these bags mm, oh yeah uh, paper bags 
these are for the project that we worked out yesterday morning um, for in December it's going to be a fun one can't wait to fill all these bags with fun things and goodies and share more about that but this will follow after the book launch so expect some more info on this around the start of August so now it's time to write that um, save to date email and oh, also a newsletter for Friday because I won't be here on Friday um, and I want to send out a newsletter on Friday so yeah I think after that's done uh, it's time for lunch and then I don't know yet what I want to do this afternoon probably ooh, probably I should continue filming uh, some YouTube shorts so let's see I'll just take a long break uh, during lunch because I'm looking forward to that yes and then uh, then some YouTube short filming that would be fun <laughs> that was enough computer work for this week I finished both newsletters and edited an in the spotlight uh, to the newsletter that's a fun thing I want to uh, to keep doing that so if you want to join me in the spotlight just share your work with um, hashtag shiridu on Instagram um, if you're working on the shiridu pattern of course but uh, it's lovely to share other people's makes because just looking at them and seeing what everybody creates spreads happiness and my newsletter is called happy notes so spreading happiness does fit this week there is a super super cute penguin quilt featured in there um, so yeah share your work with hashtag you redo if you want to be in the spotlight um time for tea tea yes and then finish some YouTube shorts because then I can schedule them in and have a lovely long weekend off without having little to do's in the back of my mind saying hey you should finish us so let's finish everything filming the YouTube shorts with this block this is one of the blocks in my book little sprout little plant and uh, the YouTube shorts that I just filmed was about matching points so these are three parts of a pattern and here you can see the leaf has a matching point here and there and the stem has a matching point over there so to get that matching can be quite tricky and did I do it perfectly? no, not perfectly but taking a little step back that does look really good so there's a little trick for that to get that matching this one worked out really well this one worked out almost good good enough for me i'm not going to unpick it but uh yeah you could do that unpick it and retry try again um but like i said good enough for me so that's what those youtube shorts are about so let's get some more tea turn those clips into one minute videos and uh uh, I want to write a blog post about those matchy points. These are the blogs that I use to mark um, social media and marketing and newsletters and stuff in my calendar. What is it called? In my planner. So this is Thursday and Friday and those days I am away. But I just finished a blog post for the matching points. And I almost finished the newsletter. So the matching points... I edit everything in the newsletter, but just need to finish this YouTube short that then will also be in real, and then I can link the photo for that real. Well, 
Um, when the reel is finished, then I can mark all these four off. Half an hour left before we're going to pick up the kids. Um, not sure, kind of new to this short business. Um, it takes me a random amount of time. Sometimes it takes me really long to finish it and sometimes it's done soon. So I'll go ahead and work on that. Um, and that brings me, I guess, to the end of this video. Let's see. Ooh, shall we do a tiny little plenty update before we say goodbye? Because this plant friend over here deserves some appreciation. Do you remember the banana plant that I showed that was really sad because it only had a tiny, tiny leaves sticking out well that leaf were actually five leaves and it grew super quick and now there's already a new one so these leaves were all rolled up in there how cool is that so this one is going to, to continue growing for as long of course as i water it properly this baby plenty friend is starting to grow look at that it is doing really well and the other white flowers she might remember i was wondering if those were also going to be plants well there is a leaf here uh, but the other ones uh, did not create a plant so i think this might also turn into a plenty friend and then one final plant or plants that i want to show you are the strawberries so those uh, plant containers that I showed you I filled them with strawberries and they are doing really great so we have a lot of these white flowers over here which are going to be strawberries oh we already have a strawberry over here look at that that's awesome so a lot of strawberries in here and I think this is especially nice because uh, when I am um, when we built the studio, uh, then this was a whole field of strawberries. So we, well, we built the studio on top of a strawberry field in our garden. So that was a strawberry field, um, uh, how do you say that, planted there by the previous owner. So I really like that even though it's not a field, I did bring the strawberries back to our garden yeah i think we're going to leave it at that thank you so much for tuning in this week and uh well uh watching me go all these exciting exciting things for sugary do and um yeah uh do go check out the pre-sale for my book i would so much appreciate that uh just hop over to sugarydo.com slash happy notes and there you'll find all the information uh, about the book about the kits that go with it uh, oh well everything is there so if you want to have your book uh, if you want to be the first to have the book and have a signed copy uh, go over there and um, check out check out the pre-sale okay well I'll see you again very soon. Little Tom and I are saying bye. Bye bye. Thanks so much and see you soon. Bye.